Okay, welcome back, Pahrump. Um, I guess Nye County. Um, I have Arthur here with me, and um, he's going. We're going to be asking him a few questions. Again, I want to remind everybody that the uh, phone um, for call in is seven two seven eighty seven fifty. Um, and so, if you have questions, uh, feel free to call in. There's also um, uh, Facebook is um, up and available. So, if you have a question and you're on Facebook, feel free. Uh, to uh, post that, and we will try and um, answer those questions as quickly as possible. And so with, uh, with any further, Arthur, thank you for coming on the show. And uh, you um, run Prompt Medical Supply. I that's do, correct. correct. And you've been in Prompt for how long? Well, uh, first of all, thank you uh, uh, for this opportunity, Dr. Sure. Reiner, to join you here on the show. Um, uh, now, uh, again, uh, my name is Arthur Kachatrian, and uh, I'm the owner of Pahrump Medical Supply here in town. And uh, we've been in town for uh, the past seven years, uh, since okay. 2007, uh, serving the, the Pahrump community. And, um, so, uh, and we'd like to continue doing that for the next 10 years and, uh, and beyond with your support. Yeah. And I think people don't really realize that, I mean, to become a medical supply company, it isn't like you just throw up a storefront and you just throw in a few things yeah. and, and um, all of a sudden you're selling medical supplies. It's a very detailed process. You have to be all the access, but the term controlling lives is you negotiate better um, from different payer sources when you have... Um, 100,000 patients as opposed to having 5,000 patients. And you're up against that, that battle when you have big groups like Sierra Health and Life and um, HPN um, and Humana and those companies which don't allow you to bill for medical goods and they make it a little difficult on their patients because that has to come from Las Vegas. Yes. And when someone brings up something from Las Vegas, it isn't timely. Um, they say they're gonna bring up at a certain time and they don't show up or they, they get lost and here's this uh, poor patient waiting for their oxygen to be delivered and they can't get it. Um, so that's why you want to support a local provider if you can through your, through hopefully you have the plan that can support someone. So he's right here locally to deliver it, to talk to you, to service that equipment when it doesn't function right, as opposed to calling somebody else. Absolutely. And uh, you touch on a key point, Dr. Reiner, is uh, the consolidation of, uh, of the medical field. Uh, and uh, the only thing that plays into that that is the degradation of the level of service that mm -hmm. people receive. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think people see that uh, on a daily basis, just like some of the points that you mentioned about the, you know products either not getting there or when they do it, it's not of the quality that people expect. Uh, but that's what happens when uh, the emphasis is placed on controlling cost rather than improving uh, service. Right. And uh, that's, what, uh, we, uh, that's how we differ from the larger companies is we provide quality service because these are our neighbors yeah. uh, that we're servicing. And at the end of the day, that's what separates, I believe, the independent practitioner from the corporate side or the corporate thing is the quality of the service they provide because they're attached to it. It's a personal representation of what they're doing, just like in my office office is a personal representation of, of how I care for a patient. Um, I do control my front office staff. I do control the people that answer the phones. And when they don't do a good job, I send them packing on their way. Um, that's what you have to do. And, and uh, so, you know, it's a representation of me just as your business is a representation of you. Absolutely. I got a question for you both. Yep. Uh, this has uh, come to us. It says, does Arthur accept health care plan of Nevada Obamacare has a number of plans on health plan of Nevada that are HMOs. How does that work with him? We are not against consolidation that we, uh, we are the, accept the health care partner uh, patients, uh, meaning or if health, you, the health plan, health plan Nevada. of uh, Nevada patients. Uh, uh, we do accept Medicare, but anything that falls in an HMO category, uh, we are not allowed to take those patients, unfortunately. Yeah, and uh, that's, um, but that's unfortunately where insurance is gone. Um, and it was kind of interesting, and I don't mean to digress on that subject, but someone the other day were looking at insurance rates, and it was actually cheaper to have a PPO than an HMO. And that's a, that's a, a, a really interesting swing. Uh, it used to be much more expensive for a PPO. Um, and we can talk about that another time. Sure. But um, let's talk about a little bit about what you do supply. Um, I was talking earlier about oxygen, and you do supply oxygen, is that correct? Uh, we do, as a matter of fact, supply oxygen. Uh, we did get fully accredited uh, by the Board of Pharmacy and Medicare uh, combined uh, to be a certified oxygen provider okay. uh, for the home use. 
Uh, now uh, that includes the, the the oxygen concentrators that people may have in their house, mm -hmm. and uh, they may purchase some uh, a portable yep. uh, a version of that. And, and now the coverage criteria varies uh, from product to product, and uh, the details of which. Uh, People can call the office and uh, and find out. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if the phone number is listed, but it's uh, seven five one four nine 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 seven five one four nine nine nine. Anybody interested or that has a need that's been prescribed by their physician to use home oxygen, you're uh, more than welcome to call the office, and uh, we'll get you uh, the details needed to uh, to get you the product uh, that you that you need. Give right, that and number one more time. I mean, people take, need time to get their pencil. So one more time. On again, that phone number is 751-4999. Uh, 751-4999. And that's uh, for Prompt Medical Supply. And uh, so the, the, the issue is, is that um, uh, if they have an oxygen supplier um, and they do have Medicare, they do have Medicaid or some of the commercial insurances and they want to support their local um, uh, provider, then they can easily call you and, and talk to you about that. I mean, there's nothing that they're locked into with each individual provider. If they're with someone like um, Preferred Home or Preferred Oxygen or, let's say, Care or one of those other ones, they could certainly choose you a, a, as well as anybody, correct? Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, uh, numerous people have done just that, uh, just because of, again, we uh, talked about the, the level of service that they're receiving. And, and if you're one of those people that's not happy with uh, what you're receiving and you think you should uh, uh, have a a local provider that cares about uh, the type of service that you get, then uh, please uh, give our office a call and uh, let us have a chance at serving you. Yeah, and you live in the community too, correct? And, and I live in the community. I've been here for as long as I've had the business, uh, so uh, I'm vested in this community. We have mm -hmm. uh, uh, allocated funds uh, to uh, uh, provide the service. I mean, I, if I'm not mistaken, we are the, the only home goods provider in town. Uh, yeah. when, uh, per, um, Family pharmacy uh, closed down. Right. Uh, it, it made it extremely difficult for people that wanted choices uh, to get medical products. But please, uh, if you give us the chance to uh, uh, service you, I think you'd be. Uh, uh, yeah, you'd be I think it would surprised. be a win-win situation for you, and win-win for the community, and win-win for the practitioners. Um, only because um, when we want a patient on oxygen, we want that patient on oxygen now. We don't want the patient on oxygen tomorrow or the next day. I mean, this is not something that we we take lightly when when we find that find that disorder. So. Um, and um, so, um, what what um, what I the other topic I wanted to, to talk about and and uh, was the idea that you by providing the oxygen the, the portable oxygen is a very big key because one of the things uh, a lot of people travel and these big concentrators i mean they're basically the size of an old at computer right i mean they're they like are. this big i mean and and, and it sound are. and the older ones sound like a uh uh well anyway they're they're quite loud um and um so with that in mind um they make these nice portable ones that patients can take with them they're battery powered and uh so those are those are those are very cool for, for they're people. They're very cool. I mean, the technology has progressed so much over the past decades uh, that something once thought never possible for somebody to carry around a, a compressor, a co oxygen concentrator uh, at their leisure and uh, tra be able to travel. Uh, mm -hmm. It was just unheard of. But now they've made it even so small that you know it's very convenient for somebody to just uh, pack it up and be on the go. Yeah, and it, and it runs on a cigarette lighter in their car so they can have their oxygen when they're driving and uh, plugs in the it charges on a battery, correct? It, has it, it a battery charges charge. on a battery. Uh, people are able to purchase uh, extra batteries uh, for a longer use. Uh, right. So it makes uh, traveling very convenient. Yeah, and uh, because that was one of the big limitations is, you know, it's funny. I have patients all the time that, you know, they're... They're sick. They have COPD. They, they, you know, they're they're huffing and puffing, but they're so vain in the sense that they won't did want to yeah. carry this big tank sure. around them. So they want something small and 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 something they can put on their arm. Um, do you do liquid oxygen like Helios and those types of things? Uh, um, we do not do the liquid oxygen. Uh, just one of the uh, the fact.